Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey, and today we are on Hoko Life. We're gonna be making uh, cow storage. Yeah, I know. Sometimes you just gotta put a little junk in the trunk, you know? And we're going to be making some storage options so that you can actually do that and have like a cute little pasture or something. I'm going to be hiding all my stuff in a cow field, all right, y'all? <laughs> it's just the way it's gonna go on my island. The first thing you wanna do is take this oval, oblong, egg-shaped kind of thing. We're gonna turn this into the body of our cow. So I'm going to make it a little bit taller. You use the resize tool, you just push to the left D-pad on the bottom below your analog stick. And then you use a combination of your analog stick and whichever area you're trying to grow it in and make it bigger in that direction. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another one of those and I'm going to tilt it using that up button um, in that same D-pad. And I'm going to kind of set that where a head belongs on a cow, right? So I'm just going to kind of center it and I'm going to angle it down a little bit so it looks like the face. You know, we want it to look like the cow's head. This is kind of going to be the base shape for any animal you're making. So if you choose large storage for the option to make things, it's all it's always going to give you a storage. You're always going to be able to walk up to it and put stuff in it. So I'm using the leaves for ears and I'm turning the little leaf uh, branch twig part backwards so you cannot see it. And then I'm putting those in two outward directions because I don't know, cows I see in pictures have them facing out like that. And I think it's kind of cute. So we're just gonna do that. We're going to um, just, I didn't really need to resize them too much, but I did make them skinnier. So they're not like fat leaves and they don't look like wood. And then I just moved those, I duplicated it. And then I used that flip tool and I angled it to the other end you know what I mean so it's not it's not too hard all of the tools are directional on the d-pad um, the top one is to move the second one is to rotate and the bottom one is to resize so sometimes you want to smush things you can literally make anything in this game look like anything I wanted our cow to have a little muzzle and in this game you can't just paint a shape so you have to have like something else to paint like otherwise it's going to paint the whole egg shape of the head it's not going to give me that muzzle so make sure you turn these in all angles and you use these arrows um to reshape or yeah to reshape because when you try and do it like just off of like um by the whole item it ends up being a little bit harder now at first i wanted to see if i could use like the little zero for the eyes uh just i just wanted to see if that would look cute i didn't end up liking it and i didn't end up using it but just in case you like it and you want to use it i left it in so you could see how i did that all i did was i flattened it down a little bit i made it a lot smaller i angled it so that it would sit flush against the head and then I pushed it back. These tools take a little bit of getting used to. My friend Aaron down, I will put his information down in the description below. He has a tutorial on how to use the actual tools on the side and what each of them does. So the next thing I did was I took a little circle one and I made it into an oval by making it I shrunk it down and then I used that tool to move, um, make it taller and then I flattened it. And now I'm going to put it up against where the eyes are and I'm gonna take away the little circle thing behind it because I didn't end up liking the way that looks. And just you just keep moving these things around. Now, if I look a little bit shaky when I'm doing it, it is because I have a disability that gives me some dexterity issues. So my thumbs are a little, not so coordinated um they're a little shaky uh, anytime i move them like away from my body for some reason they do a lot really well when they're clenched as close to my body as possible but not like or as close to my palm as possible but not when they have to extend out very much i lose control um they're just yeah they just don't work great it's it's fine i've gotten used to it i've come up with lots of workarounds the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use that we're going to use one of those um, pipe looking pieces 
and we're gonna flatten that down a little bit. We're gonna make it smaller and then we're gonna elongate it. So what I'm going, uh, what that ended up doing was making it look a little bit like a, like a pipe almost, like a, a peace pipe. <laughs> Anyways, I stuck that on there. I made it longer and I put that um, on the rear end of the cow, you know, gotta have a little tail going on. And then I used the heart shape to be the little, um, little tuft of hair that's usually on the tail of a cow in cartoons. In real life, yeah, that's not a thing, but this is cutesy, right? It's, it's cute. And I'm not going to, this is the, I'm reliving my childhood dreams in video games. I'm not going to change that. <laughs> So anyways, we made it a little heart. I thought it was cute. It's it's just, yeah, it was, that's it. It was just for cute. And then we have these round pillars that we're gonna use for legs. Obviously we need four of them, but as soon as I get them set where I want and I lower the cow towards the ground a little bit more and um, do all of the resizing things that I need to do, I'm going to place that a little bit off the ground because I do want a hoof. And so I'm using this copper thing right here and I'm just gonna turn it upside down and I'm going to shrink it down and I'm gonna stick it inside of that pillar and make it look like a hoof poking out from the bottom. Now you just have to turn this around a lot in order to make sure you're placing things like in where they're supposed to go because you could think it looks right from one angle and then you turn it around and you're like, oh my gosh, that is like two feet away. There's no way that that is in the right place. So once I got that correct, then I selected both of the items uh, using the multi-select tool, which you'll find if you hit Y, and I just duplicated it and I moved some to the front. And then in the front, I moved the legs in a little bit because um, cows have a bigger behind than they have a forward quarters and I just wanted to indicate that and to leave room for the mama cow to have her little teats um, because I'm going to make a family of cows. I just, I want a cow, I want a bull, I want a calf. I want it all and I want them all over my pasture. They're probably gonna be like different colors and whatnot just because I think that's kind of cute. You will also find these over in my creator code. If you wanna just download them, I'll put my creator code down in the description below and you can just download them. Now for the cow's spots, what I did was I took these half bowl shapes and I placed them inside of the body. I know that's kind of weird, um, but it really works out nicely because it gives you this natural look um, when it's peeking out. So that way um, only part of it is showing and it looks kind of natural. Like it doesn't look so much like uh, you placed a bowl on top of a cow. See, it has this pattern. It gives you like almost like a pattern. Um, and that's, that's what happens with cows. Like if you've ever been around cows, you know their spots are not perfect. They're very natural and kind of, you know, like that. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. I'm so sorry. I'm probably doing a terrible job of that. And then you take another bowl shape and then you make them in different sizes and you place them around. You leave them a little bit uh, sticking out so then that way they sink in and they make that nice little effect where... Um, parts of it are into the other colors. So that way when you recolor it, it's going to look very much like a cow. Uh, go figure, I'm making a cow and I want it to look like a cow. And I think it's a pretty cool way of doing it. Um, if you find a better way, be sure to let me know. I also do this with the full round ball um, and have it poking out just a little bit on one side or the other. Anyways, this is how I did the spots uh, around the cow. I do end up going and I paint all of these pieces. I just make them uh, different, you know, the, the brown and off-white and then the black and white. Um, you'll see how I do that. But once they're all painted and everything, it ends up looking really, really cute. I just love it. I am so in love with this design, you guys. I just think it's the cutest way to store items. I mean... Who wouldn't want cute little storage cows? I'm also going to make some storage chickens for my good friend Janicki um, because she's a chicken 
and I'm going to name them Jinnicky. So when that design comes out, you'll see it in the design portal. I'll put it on my social media and you guys will see that too. Cause my next build is going to be a chicken coop and some chickens, uh, because I don't know, I want to farm core Hoko life town because it's not an island. It's a town, right? I need to get used to that. I'm so used to calling everything an island. Like Disney Dreamlight Valley, that was an island. It wasn't. It was a valley. But I kept calling it an island. It's like everything's an island thanks to Animal Crossing now. And it's funny because Animal Crossing wasn't even always an island. But now I call everything an island. Anyways, we had to give it its little spot on top of its head and... You know, we don't want these circles to be perfect circles, so we always like skew them just a little bit. And then I'm putting on the bottom, I'm going to make her teats where her milk comes from for her little baby calf. And um, we're gonna stick that right on there. What I did do though, before I stuck this part of um, the cow on, I saved it. I saved the version of it without. So that way um, I can just use the base and customize it in order to make the next one. So that way I don't, uh, I'm not remaking the entire thing over and over again. I only have to make the base of it once and then I change the features that I want to change and I resize it because you can select an entire item and change the size of it. Uh, which is a very handy, helpful tool in this game. It really is. So, yeah. If you didn't know that, then hopefully that helped. I know so many people have been playing this game for a very long time. It's been out for a hot minute. But I haven't seen too many people put out content for decorating in this game. And I really, really love decorating games. So, I was sold on the decoration aspect of the game. But we are making this one like a cream color. We're going to make it with brown. Of course, I'm giving it black eyes. There's only a few colors you need for each of these. We're going to make the teats pink and we're going to make her a little muzzle pink. And then I decided at the very end, you know what? I want her to have a little bit of earrings. I think she's just going to be cute with earrings, right? She's a mama. So I wanted her to look a, feel a little bit pretty. So we're giving her some earrings um, just because I can. Just take that regular brass ring, you make it tiny and you move it. It's not, that one part of it is very easy. It's not, you're not rescuing it or changing the actual structure of the shape in any way. Just take those O's and you stick them right where you want them to go. Now we're just going to go through and we're going to repaint everything so it stands out. And there you go. We were done with that one. Now we're going to be doing our baby little calf. Um, this is where I stuck the ball in in order to make the, um, the color differences. And what I wanted was I wanted this one to be brown, but I wanted it to have like a white underbelly, if that makes sense, and a white uh, part around the chest. I know that's incredibly like detailed thinking, but... I, I'm an artist. I just love art. We're making him a little bit small because he's a calf, right? And he's so cute. And now we're going to make the bull. So for this guy, I used that cone thing um, that I used for the hooves and I made horns and I just made them a little more elongated, stuck them on top of the head. And then I moved that spot over. I changed his spots around a little bit because I didn't want them to be exactly like the mama cow. I wanted him to have his own identity. Um, and then I painted him. I painted him white and I gave him black spots because I thought, you know, I wanted him to be a little bit different. I thought it looked really cute. And then I gave him some gray horns. And then for the cow, for the bull, I put a little nose ring on him because you know, like the bulls with the nose rings, I just thought that was cool and cute. You know, not, there is no reason for it. I, I've been saying, you know, a lot, like really, <laughs> I don't know. I need a thesaurus. I need, a, I need more words, but there you go. We're making him a little bit bigger than the mama cow because, you know, he's a bull. He's going to be a little bit bigger and he's done. And there's our family. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I really love it. I think it's so cute. If you guys make it, be sure to tag me. I want to see. 
and I hope everyone's having an amazing day. I know you guys could be doing absolutely anything in the world and you chose to hang out with me. I appreciate you so much for that. A very special thank you to my channel members. You guys are absolutely amazing. I can't believe that there are even people that want to support my content, but you guys, I'm so honored. I'm so honored that you guys hang out with me and that you find something beneficial here. And I hope everyone has a fantastic day or night. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.